So, uh, I don't know if some of you guys might have heard of this. A news anchor was recently taken off air, I believe even fired, for quoting Snoop Dogg during a live broadcast. Oh, I heard about this. You'd have to quote a pretty specific part. Was it, was it bitches ain't hoes but hoes and chicks? That one? No. Bitches ain't shit. Bitches ain't shit but a hoes and chicks. Ain't no fun? <laughs> was he saying all yes, that stuff? I can't, I won't guess. No. Were they just counting? Well, undercover seven. cop. Oh, okay, because uh, cause the earlier albums really can get you in some trouble. Which one is it? Which one is it? No, it's got to be something that seemingly you wouldn't think mm -hmm. is like that bad. So, because oh. a news anchor would say it, but it means something else. Yeah. Oh. This is during a live TV broadcast. Think about Snoop. Just really boil it down, right? Brand wise, okay. when you think about Snoop Dogg. Yeah. What do you always hear him say? Counting. One, two. Even like ten years ago. Four, three. For shizzle, my nizzle. Oh, you can't say nizzle. Is that nizzle? what he said? Yeah. You can't say nizzle? Why do you can't? Why do you can't? Why do you can't? Why do you can't? You can say for that's, shizzle, but you can't say the rest of that. Because I think that's supposed to be my, my N word in an endearing way. Oh. Yeah. N word in an endearing but way. But nizzle rhymes with sizzle. It's true. I think on this, um, you know, rhymes with shizzle. News. Proper and respected news show. Yeah. For some reason, we can. Yeah. But on NBC's affiliate WLBT, on yeah. on you know actual TV, wow. you can't say, especially if you. Not even the word. No, I'm white saying. lady, uh, who has been working there for I like twenty years. Feels. I know. She's like, come on. That's like not even the word, man. Twenty years for that mistake. Yeah. I think it's even funnier if it's an old white lady saying it. Pretty good. I agree. But then it's almost as if like a white lady got taken off the air for saying. N word, like li literally N and then W O R D. You know, one of my favorite scenes That's is true. in scary. I didn't say the word, I literally the said the theme. Yeah, I said the substitute word, and I'm in trouble. What the fuck? Because, and like, the, yes, you are. Yeah, there was actually a good scene in Scary Movie the opening scene when that grandma is singing Mystical on the oh, yeah. piano. <laughs> Shake yourself. You know, and then shake that ass, watch yourself, and then she sings the whole thing, says the N word, everything. Oh, shit. Everybody's dying and laughing, and it's it's all good because what? It was the Wayne Brothers. black creators yep. who wrote that script, and they mm -hmm. thought of that scene. A white grandma singing it was hilarious. It is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was a long time ago, too. I mean, this is very different from that. And but when Leonardo DiCaprio did it, we all know it's okay. Because Quentin Tarantino wrote it. It's all good. It's all That's true. Very good. Oh, yeah. He did say it quite a bit in that yeah. movie. He kind of says it a lot in a lots lot. of movies. A lot. <laughs> a lot, though, huh? Quite a few times. What other movies? So much. So much. He gets it in most of his movies. All of them. I wonder how Jamie Foxx felt about it. I think he's I think he's spoken on it. it. I think he's I think he's okay with it. I think he did an impression of Quentin telling him that. Didn't he? Yeah. There was, was like a good Quentin too. Yeah. Do you think he read the script and said he's so talented. In historical entertainment context, when it was like not appropriate but like used verbiage during that time, does it like fall under some sort of like okay, well, you know what I mean? It's it's the same in this way. context? No, not in this context. Like a Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio, you know. But they're trying to—they're trying to paint a picture. They're That's trying to paint a time, and it's yeah. a time, and it's—it's it's a the theme. I think, it should be, I think it should be but okay. How come literature from those actual times? They're scrubbing they're being, them out. Yeah, they're, they're being like yeah, crazy. people are weird. All those—they're <laughs> kicking. They're taking them out because they could still be edited in a lot of ways. You can't edit. Uh, this might be a Nick question, <laughs> but did Snoop comment on this? He did not comment on this, but uh, you know who did comment on it was Charlemagne on The Breakfast Club. What did he what say? He, say? Um, he actually said, I don't think she should have been fired for that. She might not have even known what nizzle means, yo. Yeah. Come on, like, stop. that's not a reason to fire that woman. Show her. Charlemagne's so good, because sometimes I agree the fuck out of him, and sometimes <laughs> I want to slap him in the face. Yeah. Do you think he she got, do you think she got fired by a white boss? She looks like Alice from the Brady Bunch, dude. Dude, she, I mean, they look like they could be friends. Fun, she looked like yeah, she just got fired right there. After Snoop Dogg started hanging out with Martha Stewart, I just feel like all middle-aged white ladies are his best friends. Yeah. How did she say it though? Did she say it, like did she like turn her cap backwards all of a sudden and like <laughs> she's the man and she then she was pants. like yeah a little bit too leaning into it a little bit. She's having too much fun. Yeah. <laughs> or was she like quoting? 
And I quote, for shizzle, my nizzle. From Snoop Dogg. I don't think she was quoting, but it, I don't know. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Let me see. For shizzle. Her saying that, though, is probably one of the most funniest moments in just regular TV. Having yeah, something like. You have a video of it? You have a yeah, yeah, I'm person right saying stuff like. And it's old. The reference is old. It's not even new. Like, people not, aren't saying that shit right now. Morning news is the worst. Here we go. Lane, they all think they're so funny. Come up with. I think that'd be pretty cool. Before we know it, she'd have a Snoop Dogg tattoo on her shoulder. A shizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> I'm telling you. Julie, what you think about that? See, they're referencing Snoop Dogg. Huh, she said it. <laughs> he said, huh, she well, said it. This. So you think that guy ruined it? He might have. Cause you know, in a in a room like this. what? No, that means she's fucking cool. Like she understood. <laughs> she said Snoop Dogg with without she skipping said, a beat. What did he want her to say? It ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. That would've been cool. Would've been cool. She probably would've had. But then that sensitive ass motherfucker, I think, is the one that got him fired. Cause you know, like in this room, someone can say something crazy, but if we all got his back, it's cool. But he was he the one that's was like the he one was like, that was like, oh he my said, god. Oh, he made it serious. Oh, yeah. He didn't have the homies back. He maybe, felt that maybe one. Maybe he really don't like her though. Maybe yeah, she's he, like kind of a, a dick to him or something. Oh yeah, maybe. She, she did in that t type of context. Now that we see that like that, it's like that's definitely like not the right thing to say. No, it's not. Yeah. Really? The other guy referenced it, and she's just letting him know, like, hey, I understand what you're talking about. I think about. in this day, morning age, banter. Yeah. There, there's the argument to get her in trouble. There's, there's a more Damn, than argument. That's fucked up. In man. this day and age. Yeah. If this happened fucking five years ago, I don't think anyone would bat an eye. I think she could have been saved, but I don't think anybody wanted to do it. Yeah. Hey, fuck that. What a bust, though. She, <laughs> since she's been working there for like 20 years. Yeah. Like, that's gotta like stand for something, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even, think she should have been fired. Even the loyalty of like the radio show being like, you know, maybe we like apologize for blah, blah, blah. Well, what's uh, weird to me like, is... Not necessarily like, let's fire her. But morning What's TV. weird to me, though, is she's a fan. Like, when someone references Snoop Dogg and you say that you're a fan, you get the reference, you understand the music, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like, I don't, I don't get it. It's not like racism. Yeah, if she was a fan though, I think there were better lines to say as well. I think morning yeah, TV. You can pick a different line. But, but a I don't think line. she. I think that who said it? I don't think she even knows what the fuck it means. Yeah. Like it's like a slogan. Yeah, she probably doesn't know what it means. Yeah, it's like that is synonymous with Snoop Dogg. It's a hundred percent synonymous. And honestly, I didn't even think about it until we brought it up today. You're like, oh yeah, that is referring. To I never and, even thought of it. And yeah, when yeah. rap artists or so hip hop artists or anything like that have <laughs> the end bomb in their songs. It's uh, it's censored on the radio, whereas that word was not censored on the See? radio. So like, it's like quotable lyrically. Okay, that's a good argument though, right yeah. there. Yeah. And Snoop Dogg likes to say other n words like nephew all the time. He Nizzle could have met, met nephew too. Like I don't know, I don't know what he says. <laughs> he does say nephew a lot. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> Well, Anthony, what do you think? Well, Anthony, owner of a business, what do you think? <laughs> Speak on this. <laughs> I mean, I've already said what hey, I said. Whoopi Goldberg had her back. Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah? Yeah, Whoopi Goldberg said it's hard, it's too hard to keep up. See, we got mm, Whoopi, we got true. Charlemagne. That's not fair. Because, like, Come if she had on, said man. that 10 years ago or, like, 20 years ago. That's what I mean. The goalposts shit. always move. And she's been doing it for 20 this, years. This is funny. She also. Uh, Caused controversy last October when she referred to a black reporter's grandmammy while on the air. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> so she is it so, grandmammy oh, just so grandma? Yeah. They don't say mammy no more. Really? Really? Is that a thing? Who doesn't? She said though not. It sounds plantation-y. Yeah, though not intentional. Oh. I now understand how my comment was both insensitive and hurtful. I have apologized to Carmen Poe, the person she was talking to, and. and you know, so but just say, bro. We're at the point where you say grandmammy, and it's like, yo, that's fucking fucked up, shit. Yeah, that's wild. Is she from the south? Because what if she refers to her grandma as grandmammy? Ooh, I don't know. Do I just call my mom mama? I don't think a lot of things from the south are being taken <laughs> too well anymore. You can't even say yeah. things like master bedroom anymore, right? Oh, yeah, like, right. Really? What do they call it? The big room? Uh, I don't even know. What do Wait, they say? Really? The yeah, room? no. Yeah. When they're doing the real estate tours, they don't call them master bedroom. What do they say? Um, something sweet or something. They don't. Yeah, they don't say master bedroom. Well, they should for Asians because it sounds like a karate master, and we like that. Yeah, the yeah, sensei. Yeah. Suite. We want the grand master bedroom. <laughs> this is called the we... sensei suite. The sensei suite. The sifu suite. The Man quarter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there was every everything is kind of just being scrutinized. It's it's a hypersensitive time, you know, and it's not one to. I wouldn't be one to like be like, nah, this is wrong or anything like that because again, these are during times that affect like well, I mean, culture or people that was like maybe. Not necessarily we were living, you know what I mean? That experience. Yeah, but in the if it was an Asian version, 
I mean, yeah, it, to me, this is say? a black conversation, a black yeah. topic, right? For me, I'm just like, all I, I all I can see it as is like someone who's a fan of the music quoted their music that they listen to. For me, I just take Charlemagne, I take Whoopi, I use them as human shields. <laughs> they said it. <laughs> and we move on. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but if it was an Asian that? one, I already don't think that we are at the forefront of getting our panties in a bunch whenever Asian shit goes down. Why would you get your panties in a bunch? Why does it gotta be panties? Well, I got boxers. That's why. So, but why is it gotta be panties? Because they're smoother. Is it and they could bunch up pretty easier. Is it offensive when someone uh, not Asian is singing that Fast and Furious song and they're going, I wonder if you know how they leave me talking out. Cause that is- Fast and Furious! That's authentically how they sound in the song. Ha. Yeah. Ha. That is how they they're sound. They're not putting a voice on, that's how yeah. they sound. Anybody but white people sing Charlie Puth, it's fucking racist. <laughs> <laughs>